So, someone's been asking about me, hmm? It wouldn't be the McManus family, would it? I don't know. There are four of them with a woman and a kid. I don't know who they are or what they want. Hmm. They're a nuisance either way. Get rid of them. I don't care how. Right. These things only happen when Capone isn't here.
Hmm? Master! I apologize for being gone so long. <sighs> when they said it was a student, I was curious. But it's just you. You're... a cat! What are you gawking at? What's so unusual about a talking cat these days, anyway? Oh, come on now! It's unusual, all right. It's just crazy! You think it's weird, don't you? I'm afraid I have to disagree. In my tribe, cats are looked at as intelligent. To see that one is able to talk, I'm not surprised. No, that's not what I meant. Wait... Is it me? Am I a weirdo? Pipe down! I don't like loudmouthed brats. Now, Frankie, since you did come all this way to see me, I assume it must be something urgent, right? Yes. We've been searching for a man named Gilbert, you see. I haven't been able to find him within my network, so of course I thought Master might know. Gilbert... You mean Professor Gilbert? I've been hearing a few rumors, yes. That he's been involved in some pretty odd research here and there. Oh, Master! I knew you would know all about him! So, do you also know where he is now? Hold on. I have a few questions of my own first. Who the hell are these kids? And why are they looking for Gilbert? D don't call me a kid. We just want to ask you something. <laughs> kid, what's that? I have no idea. Gilbert, for some reason, he seemed to know. So we need to find him and hear everything he knows. Hmm. Ah, I see. Hmm. That's very interesting. But I'm sorry to say I haven't the foggiest idea where he is. I do know where his research lab is, though. It's where he was working out of until just recently. Anything is fine. We just really need any help you can give. Hmm, yes, I can see that you do. I might be able to help you. Perhaps we can make a little deal. Ever heard of Al Capone? He's the man who runs this city. I guess so. I've heard the name. Capone pulled a few jobs, you see and got himself thrown into Alcatraz prison. So if you want me to help you, you'll break him out. Understand? No! No! Master! Helping a criminal escape? It's out of the question! Well, if that's the way you feel, then that's just a shame. I don't think I'll be able to help you kids after all. Oh. And Frank. Since when did you become so high and mighty that you can... <clears throat> judge me! We have no choice. It's a deal. We'll do it. You're a quick learner, aren't you, kid? I've got to tell you, I'm quite impressed. We have a deal. Hmm? Excuse me, Mao, but... Oh! I'm so sorry! I didn't know you had guests! Don't worry. We were just finishing up. It's very nice to meet you. And I'm... My name is Edna Capone. Huh? Did she say Capone? Yes. She happens to be Al Capone's kid sister, you see. 
So, did you come to see Ricardo again? <laughs> Who's Ricardo? He's a wandering guitarist. Well, we say he's wandering, but he's been living in town for a year. Oh, if you all would like it, he's going to be performing and we could all go see him together. It starts soon on the huh? stage downstairs. Hey, I'll go, uh, but... Fine, we don't leave until tomorrow. Go ahead, have a good time until then. That was wonderful, Ricardo. Your playing was beautiful. Yes, thank you for coming. I was thinking of only you while I played. Only of you. <laughs> You're just saying that, but thanks. <clears throat> hmm. By the way, who are they? Oh, Mao introduced me to them. I invited them to come along with me to listen to your performance. Oh, well, in that case... How about another song, for your trouble? What would you like me to play? Uh, sorry, but I think we should probably be going. Uh, 
Uh, just one more song. Johnny, we've got an early day tomorrow. <sighs> Good night. Bye. Good night. Edna, perhaps you should retire as well. I guess so. You're worried about your brother, no? It is in your eyes. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But when he comes back, perhaps there will be more time for us, hmm? <laughs> you know, I hope he's all right. You see, my brother really wants me to start dating an honest and trustworthy man. When he finds out that you and I are seeing each other... I am happy to take that risk, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bed. Good night, my Ricardo. Good night, Edna. Farewell. You're kind of a careless girl, aren't you? Walking alone like this. I know you. The McManus family, right? I hope you know this is Capone territory. You're definitely Capone's sister, all right. If you got guts like that. But now... Your brother's been locked up in jail, remember? He's got no territory. <laughs> Shut up! And come with us. Stop! Let me go! Ricardo! <laughs>